Hello everyone. Welcome new subscribers. Welcome subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to us, uh, following us, and supporting us. My name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. You can follow Chemistry on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Today I wanted to talk about shadow work. I know some of you have heard me talk about it, but I never just really broke it down. Uh, you've heard me talk about my experience. And I talk a little bit about my experience uh, when I just, I highlighted some stuff in this book. It's a really short book I got from uh, Amazon. It's really short. I don't think it's, it's more than, what, 30 pages. But uh, it's an ebook, And I just scanned it just looking at the shadow work. Uh, and then looking at my program, Know Thyself, because Know Thyself is based on the shadow work. And it's a program that you use to uh, do that integrating, that spiritual integration. Because the shadow work is, is consists of the spiritual integration as well. It, it, it become, It's a spiritual-based program, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm glad I created it. You know, because I really created it because I had some, I had trauma in my family, and I really didn't, and I didn't want to accept it. I had just put it in the back of my mind, even though I knew this was going on in my family. Uh, we had me and Ed going in and out of jail. Uh, many of our, of our um, many of us were abused by our mothers in some form or fashion. Uh, we had all that going on. Up in our family, you know, and I didn't want to look at it, but it's, it's, it's there, you know, uh, and doing that work, doing, doing that shadow work and looking at the ancestors and learning how to forgive. Cause it took a lot of that too. And understanding, uh, how trauma, trauma can be present and we don't even realize it, you know? We don't even realize that something is going on uh, because we have normalized these behaviors, you know, yet we have them. And then we wonder why we don't have good relationships, why we can't stay married. I know I, I now that I work a program and now I'm doing the Know Thyself, I work the Know Thyself program, um, I actually see uh, how I feel in my relationships, all of them. All of them. I see what's the problem. I see what was the problem, you know, in working uh, the program. Uh, and the shadow self is so important. That is the most, that is your spiritual walk. That is your spiritual walk and understanding that shadow self. I don't hear many uh, spiritualists talk on that. Yeah, you can align your chakras. Yeah, you can do this and yeah, you can do that, you know. Uh, but many of us, especially, especially if your ancestors were, uh, you know, were experienced racism or anything to that degree, you know, you really need, you know, there's going to take some, uh, some work on that shadow self. And it doesn't mean that you're broken or anything, you know, because as soon as you start doing the, um, the shadow work, you're going to start benefiting from it because you're facing your, yourself and you're loving every aspect of yourself when you do it. You know, uh, if you're not familiar with doing it, find you, uh, you know, someone that can help you do that shadow work. And it's all of it's more psychological. It's a lot of psychological and impulsive uh, behavior that we push off, that we you know, we, we push off and, and normalize it. You know, one of my things was anger. I pushed it, yeah, I was always angry. That wasn't normal, but I pushed it off as being normal. Uh, let's say depression. You're depressed all the time. Maybe you're not even aware that you're depressed. But because you feel like this, you feel like that's the way you're supposed to feel all the time because you've normalized that behavior, that de depression behavior. You know, maybe you've been depressed all your life and you're aware of it and you don't know why. You know, there's a lot of things, uh, uh, you know, uh, the shadow work can be used for. And it, it, it guts all that out. It really does. It have us to look at every aspect of ourselves and uh, 
looking at things from a wider perspective. You know, you really come into your godhood uh, when you start doing the shadow work. You know, and, that, and, and no matter how it, it sounds, even though shadow work, and it sounds, shadow work like sound, sounds spooky. A lot of people think, oh, it's spooky. No, it's not spooky at all. It, it's really, uh, they should call it light work. Because after you get done with it, you're going to be brighter and lighter. You know, uh, but they call it shadow work. It says the Swiss psychologist Carl Jung used the term shadow to refer to a person's dark side or in other words the part of their sight they are not comfortable with and do not accept as being okay in order to make the distinction between the part of the self-identity ego that are familiar with and accept to a certain degree and the traits and characteristics characteristics that we disown and do not like he termed the unloved part the shadow self so, you know, we'll disown the things we don't like about ourselves. We'll deny, deny, deny. You know, I denied that I had an anger problem. I would blame it on somebody. It was that somebody else's fault that they made me mad. You know, it wasn't my fault. It was, it was their behavior that made me mad. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I had that going on with me. I didn't want to just uh, embrace that I had that. And then finding out where it comes from. Where do it come from? When you have that trait, that's what the know thyself is. Because once you start working that program, all that stuff is going to come up. That's what I like about the know thyself. Once you work the program the way you're supposed to, all that stuff is going to come up. It is going to come up. All that shadow, you know, all them impulses. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't really know. And sometimes you're un some people are unconscious of it. Some people are unconscious of it. Um, and th those are the ones that I find that usually have e experienced some type of trauma. Some type of event that created a trauma of why they do the things that they do. You know, uh, it could be unconsciously. Some people do it consciously. You know, and just uh, uh, what they, they do it consciously be and impulsively. Does that make sense? Consciously and impulsively. It's like they can't help themselves. It's just an impulse to do that. You know. They consciously do it. So. Uh, and, and that shadow self. You have to do that work. Whether you are conscious of this or not. At any point in time. You have the characteristics and traits. You are unhappy to have. In your self image. Identify shadow. And the characteristic traits. You are happy to hold within the self-image is ego. So right now, you know, you I thought, look, I, I my family, we, you know, we got we have these gifts and we ain't got no trauma in our family. We ain't got nothing to really to fix. You know. Until I start looking at the shadow, looking at the things that my ancestors was hiding, and start praying for them. And start, you know. Uh, giving them prayer in that area. Because that's, that's important too. That's really, really important. It runs deep uh, if you're working with your ancestors. Uh, and I wrote that book, How I Came to Meet the Ancestors. You know, I had to feel, I couldn't blame it on mom. I couldn't blame it on dad. I couldn't blame it. It was a situation that just happened to my family. Sometimes trauma is like that. It's a situation that's in the family. It's, it's negativity that has got in and started infecting the family. You know, you can call it addiction. Some people call it addiction. Addiction, does say it's addiction. But I look at it too. Uh, some households don't even have, addiction can mean anything. You know, too much of anything. Not just drugs, you know, people just blame it on that, but it can be other things too because you see some people don't have quote-unquote drugs in their home and still there's some disharmony and unbalance going on in there. You know, so, uh, yeah. So it's something, it's just a situation that happened. And it's hard to look at it from this perspective because people are wearing the faces of this disease. Or this negativity. 
That's the that's the only way I can explain it. Uh, for me, uh, it's it was very hard. It's very hard to start dealing with the traumas, you know, or some of my ancestors that were very salty towards me, uh, you know, and still to this day, just doing the prayer because this disease, they were the faces of the disease, the negativity. But that's not the real them because I know the real them. You know what I'm saying? The sickness is just there. That's how I look at it. And a lot of our ancestors had some trauma going on there. And it can wreak havoc. It, 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 it manifests in so many different ways. It's unbelievable. Once I start doing this, um, working with the ancestors and doing this shadow work, uh, deep healing. Uh, but it's changed my life. It has changed my life. A spiritual, uh, you know... Oh my gosh, a oneness, a whole total spiritual integration happens when you do the shadow work. It says, as you interact with people, uh, work, make love, dance, or go about your life in a matter at all, you have an established and persistent self-image that contains information about what you know you are like, ways in which you behave, what you think others think of you. This self-image is nothing more than an idea or creation within your mind that you have identified as you. It's the ego. Because some people don't even see you like that, but that's how you see yourself. It is not the whole or the real you, but nevertheless, it's compelling, it's convincing as being who you are. The shadow self, whatever is left out of your idea of you, and it also includes anything contained within the idea of you that you would rather not be there. I will explain more about this as we go. So that is the shadow self. You may, I says, for example, we may not readily hold our hand up and say, I am rude, but you might readily hold your hand up and say, I am generous. And this small example, generous would be your self identity. Your accepted self-image, but rude, would be a characteristic that is part of your shadow self. So you would say that you are generous, but you will have some of that behavior that you are rude. And you'll come in contact with people like that as well. You know, that's just, you know, that is the, uh, again, that is the, the shadow self that's showing up. It says, the shadow self is everything that does not, not exist within your accepted self-image. And that's exactly what the shadow self is. Uh, like I said, I don't hear many people talk on this. But I want to emphasize the shadow work, uh, doing the character building, if you're going to be working with a spiritual system. This, this, ah. Oh. This, uh, it really does a lot of cleansing your energy. It really does a lot of cleansing your energy. It is a spiritual detox. Uh, ugh, it's done wonders in my life. You know, I, I can't emphasize this en enough. Anything that is unconscious seemingly has more negative influence in our lives than which we do, we do consciously. In this respect, you can think of the patterns and agenda of the unconscious like a robot and, and they run automatically. This is good essential bodily functions like breathing, for example, but not great for psychological function, function as trying to accept all hearts and trying to get your parents' approval. These will not, will not uh, stop no matter how much time has passed. And that's one some of the things that I was uh, doing as well, trying to get parents' approval, uh, re going to anger. Acting out of anger, reacting, because I was doing a lot of reaction, overreacting, uh, reacting out of anger. And psychologically, it can do damage. Uh, spiritually, it's doing damage. Uh, and then, two, it can affect your health, because it starts to affect my health as well. So, you know... Be mindful of things like that. Be mindful of why you're doing the things that you're doing, acting in such a manner. Question your what's going on there. 
accept that's going on there, and then you have to love yourself and forgiving yourself and really uh, doing the work is needed there. Some people will have to do deep, deep work with the shadow self. Me, I've had to do deep, deep work with the shadow self because of the trauma. Okay, so I've had to do a lot of deep work. But has it been? It's been rewarding. It's been rewarding every step of the way. Uh, it, it has really enhanced my spiritual gifts. You know, that's what I could say. It has enhanced it. Oh my gosh. I thought it wasn't going to enhance it, but it has enhanced my spiritual gifts. So, uh, the shadow work cannot hurt you spiritually. It can only enhance uh, your spiritual evolution. You know, people call it shadow work. You know, I think that's, that's an unjust term. I think they should call it light work because you're bringing so many things to light. You're doing so many cleansing with your, so much cleansing with your energy. You're actually spiritual detoxing and being aware of your consciousness. Your whole consciousness begin to change and you begin to attract, oh my gosh, what you desire because you start changing your thinking. Uh, I love the Know Thyself program. Like I said, I use this program every day and I have these, you know, Contact, I come in contact with spirit a lot more often. You know, spirit is centered in my life. That's basically what happens uh, when you get to really know yourself and really come in contact with your divinity. Because you really come, come in contact with your divinity once you start doing the shadow work, a.k.a. light work. You know, that's what it, that's what really truly happens. Uh, this work is so important. Um, it's really, when our ancestors said, you have to work on your character. You have to have this sort of balance. And you'll see that in Kabbalah. You'll see that in, in, in other uh, traditional religions as well, that character thing. So these are, this is one of the same components. This is one of the same co components. And it take work. Uh, to work this why do we why do things uh run unconsciously because you experience something that you were not able to process at the time or but it or but be it just because in our society the external world is more distracting and attractive than the in, internal world for most people so we don't really we don't even explore all these inner worlds that we have but once you start doing this work oh my gosh because you're shifting out this old way of thinking. It's a total, you know, you're upgrading your DNA, you know, because you're having contact with your ancestors. And a lot of praying is going on and accepting is going on. Uh, it is, it, it, it just really takes out that other energy, energy in that new way, new perspective, new thinking. You see how powerful your mind is and how you are creating things. We just by shifting your thinking and changing your perspective on things. Uh, oh my gosh, it changes your life. So the shadow work uh, is very, very important. You know, uh, and I'm going to give you what, what shadow work, uh, what it says. Shadow work is is very effective, quick, and powerful way to change your experience of life quickly. When you re-own all the previously disowned, unaccepted parts of your self-identity, you notice an inner peace that wasn't there before, quieting the inner critic or the judgment part of the mind. There is less judgment and con contraction away from others. There is less irritation towards others and less wishing that others would behave differently. What this requires is self-reflection and higher consciousness of what is taking place within your experience. If there is something about a person that irritates you or something that makes you feel they are superior, then what is actually happening is you are projecting onto this other person something that you have accepted, that you have not accepted about yourself. So you see, you see why the show, and, and the universe will keep sending it to you. You'll keep seeing things from that perspective. 
until you start dealing with it. Whatever irritates you about the person or what you're experiencing in your life, that means that's something you have to work on. If you're irritated with your relationship with your spouse, it's something that they keep doing and it just gets on your nerves, that's something that you need to work on. That don't got nothing to do with this, your spouse. That has something to do with you. See, that's a lot of, of what we got going on, even with our children. If something is irritating you about your child, you know, it's really a reflection of us. What is going on with you? Why is it irritating you so much? You know, it really shifts your perspective, too, when you really look at, too, how, you're, how we were raised, how our parents brought us up. You know, and just by bringing us up a certain kind of way, it had a traumatic effect. Uh, in our perspectives, the way we see things. I don't know. It's, does that make sense? And you can't really blame them because you're going to get angry at them too when you start to awaken. Uh, and what they think, because it was, it was normal. It was, it was deemed as normal in some, uh, our, in some eras in our parent society. This, you know, behaving like that or treating us the way they did, it was deemed normal. So you can't get upset with them because they were trying like that. You know, so you start looking at it from a different perspective. I hope that made sense. But like I said, I thought this book was uh, really good. It was right to the point. It was, I don't think this book was over 30 pages. But I thought I would come here and talk about how important the shadow work is just for a moment. Uh, and what shadow work really is. The name of this book is An Introduction to Shadow Work, How to Accept Every Aspect of Yourself by Glenn Smith. I'll leave a link here, but like I said, it's, a, it's a just a little short ebook. But I talked about uh, shadow work before in another video, but I thought I would come here and just really break down what shadow work is, really is. And how important it is because I, like I said, I've, ne I've, I've never heard anyone just really break down uh, what shadow work is all about. It's healing, healing on every level. Uh, when you heal the mind, so many other, so much other healing take place. Your body, your spirit, every all the healing takes place. So, uh, and if you're interested in our Know Thyself course. Uh, I don't know if this was is full or not. I have to check and see. But you can, uh, you know, go to my inbox and or you know leave me a mess. I mean, leave your email and I'll send you a questionnaire for the class, a registration for the class if you're interested in it. But like I said, the uh, shadow work is so important. Do not uh, uh, dismiss the power of it. Especially if you're uh, honoring your ancestors. You know, if it's calling, just look look at your family and see where you start. You're getting uh, some of these, this stuff is from. Because some of it comes from the way we were raised and what we were exposed to. Or sometimes it can just come from an abuse that you were in, you were in a relationship, abusive relationship. You know what I'm saying? It can come from that. So, um, thank you for being here today. Thank you for supporting us and following the channel. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.